This video is going to outline the dynamic warm-up. Now, in the flow of your training session, you would generally, if you have a foam roller, start with some foam rolling for about five minutes, full body. You would go to our full body mobility routine and then get to this dynamic warm-up. So this part of the warm-up is what really prepares you for the quick movements that you're gonna do in your conditioning sessions. This is great pre-basketball uh, training session, um, but also helps us prepare for our strength training sessions because it gets our heart rate up and gets our nervous system prepared for the harder work that is to come. But if you are doing a strength training session and you are short for time, definitely get in the mobility if you don't get this in for the strength training. But any time that you are doing the conditioning, I want you to always make sure that you get this in because it's gonna really prepare yourself progressively for the um, speed work and the faster running that you're going to be doing there. So don't skip out on this. So let's start right from the beginning. It starts a bit slower and gets faster. The first exercise we're gonna do is the knee hug. So you're gonna find a distance longer than what I'm going to use, but let's say about 15 meters, and we're gonna move up and down this. So for the knee hug, we're gonna make sure that our toes are pointed forward, bounce on one leg, pull the knee into our chest, hold it, one, two, three, step, hold it, one, two, three, okay? So every step we're gonna make sure that we get that hug, check in with our balance, step, hug, check in with our balance. Notice my toes are pointed forward. We want to avoid the turnout so we can get that alignment of our hips. So we do that all the way down to the end, every step, and then we're gonna jog back to beginning. The next one we're going to do is the cradle. So we're gonna grab our leg again, but this time you're gonna grab with your hand over the ankle and under the knee and cradle it like you're holding a baby. Your ankle comes to your hips and your knee is gonna to come towards your armpit or ribs. So as I move across the floor, again, line up my hips and my toes, cradle, one, two, three, step, cradle, one, two, three, every step, getting that nice cradle, staying nice and tall, and we should be feeling a stretch around our hip a bit, okay? The third one that we're gonna do is the backwards single leg deadlift. So this one's a bit trickier, and it's okay if you struggle with it a little bit, just take your time. So from here, I'm gonna have both arms and they're gonna reach forward as one of my legs reaches back. So soft bend in my knees, I'm gonna reach forward, leg reaches back, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna step back, and now the other side. Reach forward, keep a proud chest, reach that leg back, getting a stretch on the hamstring of the leg that's on the ground, come up, step back, and the other side, all the way down your 10 to 15 meters, jog to the beginning. Number four is going to be our reverse lunge and hamstring stretch. So from here, I'm going to do a reverse lunge. I'm gonna come up from that lunge, straighten my legs, hamstring stretch, bring my arms up, drop down, up, and then I'm gonna step back, other side. Lunge, straighten my legs, sweep, sweep, arms up, drop down, up, and repeat, going all the way down that line. Sweep, sweep, arms up, down, okay? When you get to the end, always that light jog back. Okay, we're gonna speed things up a little bit now, we're gonna to go to skips. So now we're gonna get into things that connect a little bit closer to the running that we're doing. So for skips, we want opposite arm and leg moving. So if my right hand is coming forward, my left knee is coming up. And I'm gonna make sure that my fingertips are always moving cheek to cheek. So outside of my face cheek, outside of my other cheek. Switch, switch. So when you first start, if skipping is something that maybe is a little bit newer to you or you struggle with, start with just marching on the spot, okay? And then from here, you're gonna add a little pop off of that foot, and this is the skip. Do a couple stationary, and now I want you to get a bunch of quick skips all the way across. What I don't want to see is the long skips that are kind of 
long and relaxed skips. We want to get some nice violent arm action and quick knees. So starting with the march, skip on the spot, and then those quick arm chops, cheek to cheek, knees up high, driving the leg down. So leg drives down, knee drives up. We're gonna build up from that. Now we're going to do quick knees. So not a skip, we're gonna be switching each time. So you can start with that march again, and then go into the quick knees on the spot, and as fast as you can. Hands going cheek to cheek, knees up high fast, jog back to the beginning. You can tell the talking's getting a little bit slower, I'm getting a little bit more out of breath because I'm getting warmer. My heart rate is getting higher, which is what we want. Focus your breathing as you go through this. For some of you, this warm up is gonna be a good amount of work to get started. The next thing we're gonna do is go into a back pedal. So for a back pedal, we're gonna lean forward, get into this hinge kind of athletic position, knees bent, and we're just gonna back pedal nice and light, and then jog back. The next one is going to be a lateral skip. So we just did skipping forward, now we're gonna do skipping side to side. It gets a little bit tricky. So with this one, start with that march again. Get into that skip. And now what I want you to do is every time the foot comes back onto the ground, you're gonna push, push away, push away. Don't cross your legs. Keep your feet about hip width apart other than when you push away, push away. You're gonna jog back. And then you're going to face the other direction so that now push away, push away. Now you're leading with the other leg or you're leading with the other leg and pushing away with the other leg. Okay. The next one we're going to do is our karaoke. Now we're going to be crossing that leg over. So karaoke is the grapevine. Cross in front, step out, cross behind, step out, cross in front, out behind. And it looks like this. Moving our hips and upper body in opposite directions. So you're gonna lead with one leg, jog back, face the other direction, and then lead with the other leg. Notice that my hips move, my upper body moves independently of my hips, staying nice and loose. That's your karaoke. Last two, we're gonna to go to our lateral squat hop. For this one, you're going to get into your wide position. You're gonna get into a bit of an athletic position offset with the one straight leg. It's a lateral squat. I'm going to lean, lean, and then push, land, lean, lean, push away, and sink into that lateral squat, and then land. Then I want you to jog back, and you're going to do the same thing facing the opposite direction now. Lean in the direction you're going first, lean where you're coming from, push away, lean, lean, push. Often what happens is that people do a stance that's far too narrow and they kind of just have this happening or they go way too wide and way too low and it's hard to move quickly. And we want to get a bit of a quick movement with this as well. Always sinking into that next position to switch. The final one is the lateral shuffle. Sure, you've done this a ton in your basketball practices. Get into that athletic position, shuffling all the way across, jog back, Turn face the other direction, shuffling across again. So this is a really great way to not only actually get that body temperature up a little bit higher, get that heart rate elevated a little bit more to prepare for the work you're about to do, but your nervous system, that mind-body connection gets strengthened and your body gets more prepared, especially as you get into that conditioning work. So this is your dynamic warm-up.